This is what I got for a 100 cell thick PML. This is on the order of what we got for the 1D PML. Of course, it's not very satisfying that the error is continuing to rise. It's increasing over the time span of our simulation. Would it continue to increase if we kept running our simulation longer? You don't need to do this, but I ran my code longer and also made the reference simulation larger, and I got this relative error. So we can see that the error does not just continue to increase and increase over time. It settles right here, uh, about 1 e to the minus 3.5 or so. All right. Well, if you are able to get your reflection error around this level, or ramping up to that level, <laughs> then uh, your PML is probably working. And so now we have an appropriate boundary condition for the right side of our grid. Next time we'll talk more about the design challenge and what else we're going to do with our model.